Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Let's continue in, in David's saga by going to his son, Absalom. Uh, I want to talk about family secrets. I believe we all grew up with family secrets, uh, the things nobody knew about outside of the house. Um, you know, there, there's that one secret that, that everybody has. Well, Absalom, who's actually David's third son, uh, has a sister named Tamar and a half-brother named Amnon. Now, Amnon is David's firstborn, so he would be the heir to the throne. But Amnon falls in lust with Tamar. And Amar, er, Amnon desires Tamar and, and plots on how to get her into his bedroom and then rapes her. Um, to which, in the Old Testament, that is, that is just wrong. But at, at, or Absalom tells his sister in 2 Samuel chapter 13 and verse 20, let me find it for you. He says, And her brother Absalom said to her, Has Amnon your brother been with you? Now hold your pre peace, my sister. He's your brother. Don't take this to heart. So Tamar lived a desolate woman in her brother Absalom's house. So Absalom is covering it up, but he's got other intentions. Um, and Absalom is going to revenge, is going to avenge Tamar. And in 2 Samuel chapter 13, verses 23 through 28, it gives us a story on how that happens. It says, after two full years, now Absalom, he kept, uh, he was plotting this for a long time. Absalom had sheep shears at Baal Hazor, which is near Ephraim, and Absalom invited all the king's sons. And Absalom came to the king and said, Behold, your servant has sheep shears. Please let the king and his servants go to your servant. But the king said to Absalom, No, my son, let us not all go, lest we be burdensome to you. But he pressed him, that, but he would not go with him. But Absalom said, If it please not, let my brother Amnon go with us. And the king said to him, Why should he go with you? But Absalom pressed him until he let Amnon and all the king's sons go with him. Then Absalom commanded his servants. Now here's, here's where he starts avenging. And Absalom shows his true colors from now on. Absalom, uh, then Absalom commanded his servants. Mark with Amnon's heart, a mark, when Amnon's heart is merry with wine. And when I say to you, strike Amnon, then kill him. Do not fear, have I not commanded you? Be courageous and be valiant. So the servants of Absalom did to Amnon as Absalom had commanded. Then all the king's son arose and, and mounted his mule and fled. Now, Absalom killed the older brother, which made Absalom next in line. And he started feeling guilty. And in verse 34 of chapter 13, it said Absalom fled because of his guilt. And he went to his father-in-law's house um, in Geshur, or his father-in-law Geshur's house. What I'd like you to see in this, um, and I think the scripture is telling us, is that there are two mistakes here. One is we didn't, Absalom didn't address the issue of his sister being raped. If we go back up to verse 22, it says uh, in chapter 13, but Absalom spoke to Amnon neither good nor bad, for Absalom hated Amnon because he had violated his sister Tamar. And this goes directly against what we're taught by Jesus in Matthew, where in, in Matthew, when it says if we're going to bring our um, offering to the altar, in Matthew chapter 5, verses 23 and 24, it says, and let me get there. So if you're offering a gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, Leave your gift, therefore, before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. So we have to go with a clean heart. We have to go reconciling to our people. Because we also have to remember, and, and Absalom took it in his own hands to avenge, that the Lord avenges. 
in Romans chapter 12, verses 17 through 21, it says, Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink, for by doing this you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So the Lord avenges. Absalom, you know, living, living uh, out the, of the vengeance felt guilty. And we don't need to feel guilty because we don't need to take vengeance. And remember that I, I've got a challenge for you from uh, Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 14. As far as this goes, it says, Strive for peace with everyone and for the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. So any thoughts of revenge you might have, give them to the Lord. Live peaceably with everyone. And Calvary, have a wonderful day.